The CBC Sean Henry is in Montreal. He's following these developments for us and uh, joins us now. And uh, Sean, tell us more about how all of this unfolded. Well, Ian, a resident uh, called police at around 3.45 in the afternoon to say that they found a car in an isolated area in Roxton Pond, and that's about 45 kilometers from the crime scene. When police arrived, they found the body of a lifeless man inside the car. Now, an autopsy will be performed, but police do believe it is the body of Daniel Massé. As you said, he is wanted uh, in the shooting deaths of two men at a scrapyard in Marieville yesterday. He was also wanted for a double attempted murder because in addition to the two men killed, one person was seriously injured and there was a woman there who witnessed all of this. Police aren't saying much right now, not even how all these folks know each other, but what they are saying is that they continue to investigate. And yesterday, as the manhunt was going on, obviously it must have been a, a nerve-wracking time for people in the community. What about tonight? Uh, tonight, a sense of relief. You know, manhunt is such a strong word. Put that in a rural town of about 10,000 people who are told the suspect might still be in the area. Then start the clock, almost 24 hours of this. Five families were forced to stay away while this was all happening. And uh, now that the manhunt is over, if they're not already home, they'll be able to go home soon.